All right, now back to our demonstration where we're going to actually require authentication for our easy table. So let's go over to our yet another tasky endpoint here. And we can either hit change permission here or edit the script. Since we're going to do it for the whole table, require authentication for the whole table, I will edit script here. So we'll get our JSON here and set our access authenticated. Oops, let's get those quotes correct. And that means that we actually don't need these detailed elements here. Saved. All right, let's now try to do our get without our permissions being set. You must be logged in to use this application. It turns out we actually did already go and log in with Twitter, right? We came in here and you have successfully signed in. This actually did give us the token that we need. So let's grab the entire redirect because remember when Twitter actually finished the login process, finished the conversation with the user, it redirected back to Azure and it included in its query string the identity token. Now, this actually isn't the identity token. At this point, Azure's been redirected to and then actually redirected yet again to the done endpoint you see here. And the done endpoint here, at this point, we have the resource token. And that's the reason this is actually the token that we're going to need to include in our headers every time we make an API request. Every time we request a resource, we include that resource token. So let's actually take a look at how this looks. I'm going to grab the entire URL here. And in order to see what we've really got, we're going to first just grab a URL decoder. Yep, there we go. And hit decode. And you can see that inside the query string, actually, in this case, it is the segment, not the query string. We have a token. So you see the authentication token is in some JSON there. And I am going to actually grab the authentication token portion of this, copy that. And the authentication token part of this isn't actually just random characters. This is in fact a JWT, a JSON web token. And this is actually a structure. So we can come in here and go to JWT.io, go to yet another web page. It's going to help us parse through some information. And here I can paste a JavaScript web token or a JSON web token, and it will unencode it for me. And we can see that the IDP was Twitter. The issuer of the resource token itself was actually the yet another Tasky app resource and some other interesting information, some things like the algorithm used that it is a JWT, uh, an expiration, this is in ticks. So we've got the JWT here. This is what's going to need to go into our headers to let yet another Tasky app know that we're the party that actually logged in through this, this website here. Right now, obviously, these are two completely unrelated sessions. It doesn't know that we logged in. It doesn't know who we are. So we're going to use this token to say, hey, we're, our user is this guy. So let's come in here, go to our headers. And just like we added our Zumo API header, we have another header we have to add. x zumo off and in there we'll go our token hit send again and look we are once again able to retrieve data and we could post more data for that matter we could actually switch this back to post and post more data just like we did originally so that's how we can enable authentication for our endpoint, actually get it working with a social provider. And we can see exactly, even on the client side, what needs to happen. We've done it all with Postman here. Of course, there are easier ways. When available, we can actually just use our Azure Client SDK. We're going to be looking at that in a little while. First, let's actually take a look at one other option. What I'm going to do now is go back to my Tasky app here and Let's hit 
our authentication here again. And this time, let's tell it that I want to require login with Azure Active Directory. And let's configure that. And I'll set up Express. And all right, create new AD app. Again, it's just going to name my Active Directory app after my mobile service app. That's fine. And hit OK. Come in here and yet another Tasky app. AAD. And we can see that it is attempting to log us in. I'm already signed in because I'm signed into the portal. And remember, I actually told Active Directory to associate with the same Active Directory tenant that I log into the portal with. I, I said that by choosing Express. Express just sets it up with the current tenant, which means it wants to log into my site using Active Directory. I'm logged in as JASDEB at Microsoft.com. And so I'll accept this. And now I am logged into yet another Tasky app through Active Directory.